wow, 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 wow. Hey, 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 don't, don't gaga, chill out, chill out. <laughs> we are live. Wow, 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 are we live? We are live, yeah. Good evening, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Behind the Table, episode three. Professional, as always. Are we seriously live? Are we seriously live? We are live. We are live. Yeah, I'm gonna eat later. I'm I'm not gonna take away the only thing that Devon has on 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 his live streams. It's eating. So that's his thing, isn't it? Eating while while talking. It is kind of his thing, yes. Because uh, hey guys, oh, thank you good. for joining us today. Oh, oh. Uh, you, you, you. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm really hoping uh this episode blow ups and we go from two viewers to three and a half. So. Well the good thing about this podcast right now is we know all our viewers by name. Right? They're good people. It's and they're very loyal. It's my mom, your mom. <laughs> Hi mom. Mom, I told you, stop it with the fake accounts. Yeah. I know there's 24 of you. Day in the life of Devon Larry. Listen, uh, last week, uh, for everyone, last week you didn't do a podcast. Uh, I was busy, and you were busy tearing apart your body. Uh, being a world-class professional athlete, you tore your bicep while doing nothing. What happened? That's not true. That's not true. I didn't tear my bicep doing nothing. Well, first of all, I tore my other bicep. Let's that's not that's not the one you got where you were you got Thor in between Thor and Eddie or this was the one where I got between Thor and Eddie. So this was a yeah a, dis, a distal tear. This came on straight off the bone. This so I've been I've been going to the gym, Ray. So after about six months of inactivity, I hit the gym again. I take my strength back, and you know I had hand surgery back in November my hand was paralyzed so i've been trying to work on some grip stuff right um by the way this is a new mic so you have to if sound is clear or unclear um so i was doing really really heavy farmers i was doing great and then i stopped and then went to finish off with some very very light bicep curls and bing, right the left arm uh i think from what the surgeon could see on on Zoom, the long head came off. So, I mean, check the shit out. It looks like the shit. Look at that, right? Look at that fucking jack motherfucker. <clears throat> you can see the dent here, right? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, it'll be fine. I thought it was about time I start fucking up the left side of my body. <laughs> I I, I I think it was just someone said like how about want to get into arm wrestling and you thought how do I get out of this you're like I'm gonna I'm gonna tear both my biceps. Well, I mean, look, I've got one busted knee with no ligaments and one missing meniscus or rubbed out meniscus, whatever. Mm -hmm. I've got this torn bicep, this torn bicep, hand reconstructed, shoulders busted, one eye. Essentially, I'm one parrot away from becoming a Halloween costume. Right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's been a great ride, but Jesus, parts are starting to fall off of this. <laughs> like a Flintstones car driving away and the wheels falling off. That's, that's what you're like. So, um, so I wasn't not doing anything. I mean, I, you know how you do heavy deadlifts and then you go to pick up a jar off the cupboard and they do your back end later? It was one I of know, yeah. True story. Took it to the max and boom. So <laughs> I'll be fine. It's just a bicep. Yeah. So now, now all your lifestyle is to shit. Now you're drinking. That's whiskey, right? No, that is not whiskey. That is because I I know it's boring, but I've been going to bed early and waking up in early in the morning, train and do whatever. This because it's past my bedtime. L this is lunatic. This is lunatic juice. Do you know what this is? No. Explain to me. <laughs> okay. Well, we never know who's going to be watching this podcast. So message to everyone. Do not try this at home. This is a third Mountain Dew, a third Red Bull sugar-free, a third Coke Zero, and a crushed blue pill with pseudoephedrine in it. <laughs> 
so you just so you stay up with pseudonephrine, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, and and all the caffeine. Uh huh. It'll grow hair on your chest pretty quickly. It keeps you up. Will it, will it help bitter. with this? No. <laughs> no. No. Funny enough, you should mention this. The Beard Struggle sent a box of samples, which I'll be bringing with me to Turkey next week. Great. So maybe we'll rub all of them on your face, right? And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Maybe you'll grow a beard right here, just in the wrong place. Kind of like a, like a monobrow. Have you ever even worn a fake beard? Why would I? Come on, why would I? Why would I? <laughs> but, hey, hey, before we go to to the to my beard problems, I, I want you to explain to people what time do you is your bedtime because you send me messages at two a.m., which is three a.m. for you, right? So, correct. What? That's when you wake up, right? That is when I wake up. Usually, I try. I try to sleep around 10 p.m., which means I have to start kind of winding down around 9 p.m. But usually I don't actually fall asleep until 11, 30, mm. maybe mid and I wake up. Four o'clock, I wake up no matter what. Sometimes I wake up at like three. Um, yeah. Just... Why? Just routine? I have a like a morning routine. Yeah, I have a morning routine. I get up. I don't. I mean, those messages I sent you are usually an anomaly. I usually try not to look at my phone or not to, you know, absorb other people's lives for like at least half an hour, 45 minutes when I wake up. I do a little bit of meditation, a little, you know, focus mind training. And then I just, uh, have something to eat and I get on the road. I walk about 55 minutes to the gym. And then I gym it. Then I sauna it. To clear out all the toxins. Sauna is great, by the way. I'm loving the sauna. It clears out all the toxins except shame. Shame, sauna can't do anything. You know what shame. clears out all the toxins? <laughs> oh. Your liver. Well, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. No. So sauna clears out the negativity. <laughs> I, I love sauna. Hey, ne next time, next. Okay, now this. The, no, no, I'm not gonna say it. I was gonna say next time in Dubai, you take me to sauna because I love sauna too. No, no, no. Got too weird, too fast. No, no, no. Why, why, why? We had some of the best conversations I've had. Some of the best deals I made were in a sauna, like yeah. Russian steam bath yeah, yeah, yeah. style or a Turkish hammam. They're they're the best. Yeah, I love sauna. I go once a week. Once a week, real hard, like two hours. Really? Oh, two hours, I, I wouldn't be able to do. Because I'm a smoker, so, you know, after a while, it starts getting like... <laughs> so so you finish, what time do you finish with that? That Like, like it's like nine? Finish nine, all of that, and then... No, 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 the 50-minute walk back home. I'm home by eight, eight to nine, I finish off all the emails so that I'm done with work and everything before people start work. Okay. So then I have all the people to deal with problems. <laughs> yeah. Problems. Or yeah. walls because otherwise you can't focus i mean right now it's holidays here so it's great because you know this is when i get most of my stuff done because mm -hmm. nobody's bothering me you know uh but presentations emails all that kind of like stuff to catch up on is best i try to do it as early as possible mm -hmm. contract all that kind of stuff that's then, i'm I really want to have like a routine, but I just can't. I'm just too all over the place. I go to sleep 3, 4 a.m., wake up 10, 9, something like. I don't go gym in the morning. I go gym evening because I have training with the guys at the same time. So I, I can't do that. Even then, like training in the morning is hard for me. I don't know. Well, I can best in the morning. That's that's what I, I can't do. Like, if I don't get it out of the way in the day, like early in the day, then I'll be thinking about, oh, when do I get a workout in? Blah, blah, blah. All that. No, no, no. I like to get it out of the way. But Ray, believe me, starting with even half a day of a routine is going to change your life. Because suddenly you'll realize, oh my God, I have so much free time. Yeah. When you're all yeah. over the place, you think you have no time. We were just that talking about that. That right? is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. It, it yeah. doesn't matter if it becomes monotonous, it becomes a copy paste job. Just, yeah. just, Start by having a routine the first five hours of the day, mm -hmm. then slowly progress. Mm -hmm. Add another segment of the day as a routine. 
before you know it, in 10 to 15 days, you'll be having a routine, which for your mind, for your workload, for everything, it's just things will flow more naturally. Yeah. Trust me, take it from a fucking like scatterbrain. My notes look like they've been scribbled by, I mean, this is, I mean, this is what my notes look like. So it's not like I'm the most organized person in the world. Right. Like, so but but I, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Like the messages you send me, like you have like bullet points and things like that. Just like, and I all my all I'm, I'm reading it and like, okay, no problem. Gotcha. <laughs> right. It's like I I can't achieve that kind of level of interaction. I was like, no problem. And then I'm I'm like I'm starting to write. I'm like just gonna send a voice message. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I, I love voice messages, especially when my hand was busted. Mm-hmm. I was so anti-texting. I was just voice noting. The problem with voice noting is it's not really a paper. And then you lose voice notes. You can't go back and search for, you know. That is true. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of, Zena, for example, Zena and Chez, they never, ever, ever voice note. They'll accept voice notes, but they'll never send one because then it's not in writing. Mm-hmm. So you can't trace back when I fuck yeah. up, which they I can't do sue you up. afterwards. Exactly. Or say, but you said this, but you said that. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, we are, yeah. we are, we are just 10 days away. We're 10 days away from big event for core sports for East versus West. Probably. Um, yeah. So the title says what's next. And I think everybody knows what's next. Yeah. 10 it's- days away from what I consider. I don't know about the world, how the world of arm wrestling was before I got into it, mm-hmm. but at least I can confidently say from when I got into it, this is probably the biggest event in history in terms of importance, in terms of the card, in terms of the titles, in terms of just, this is the first time that this magnitude of East athletes and West athletes have been kind of put together. Uh, you would know better than that, so I'm gonna have to. No, 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 no. I know nothing, but I'll sh- I should test you on your knowledge about harvesting. Okay, you've got three quick fire questions, and based on that, I'll either pass the test or you can take me out back and shoot. <laughs> I'll just shoot you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, we've been we've been through a uh, few. Uh, I would say the biggest moments in arm wrestling. I think till 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 core sports got involved, King of Table East versus West, um, 2018 Devon versus Dennis. That was the biggest, most anticipated match of all time. They happened on left arm. Then Devon and Levin, number one. Then Dennis and Devon, and because that's the clash that everyone wanted to see somewhere. Somewhere in there, I think there's Voivoda and John Berzenk, just mm. from 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 just emotion, emotional, I would say, attachment to that match. But now it's Devon versus then uh, Devon versus Levin number two, and it is by far the biggest. I I had people coming to me on the streets like they just and they're like, oh, Levin, Devon, it's going down this month. They're like so excited. So I think there's. Uh, the excitement, um, the eyes, I think it's going to be absolutely insane. Like, I, I just can't even imagine. Like, every time I go to event East versus West, King of Table, I kind of can imagine how it's going to look like when you go down to lobby and you see everyone there. I think it's going to be absolutely insane. I'm going Had there you... on Monday. So, Oh, you're getting there Monday? Yeah, I'll there. be there eight days. Wait, hold on. What's Monday's the 15th, right? Yes. Tuesday's like, shit. I don't get there until Wednesday, super early morning. My flight is Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm writing the show, all of that, by the way. I'm going to stick to the script we did last time. And I'm going to get that done before Monday. So mm-hmm. you'll actually think before. Uh, but anyway, that's tech. Get into that later. Well, you get up early at the time. My, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'll write it at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, People in my gym, not knowing who I am or what I do for a living, just randomly discussing arm wrestling. 
arm wrestling and oh this is gonna be big this is gonna be yeah big. i'm like oh, yeah and i quietly listened to her <laughs> by <Yeah>. the way <laughs> by the way <laughs> yeah and do you know if it's gonna be on tv i'm like well funny enough i know the guy who owns the tv station <laughs> that you can watch it on um no but it's, it's amazing that the reach the reach of this thing whether it's Chael Sonnen was talking about it the other day. That's Is insane. He? I love Chael. He's 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 one of the funnest things that ever happened to MMA, right? Oh, he's hilarious. The whole hilarious. the whole saga with him and Anderson Silva was amazing, right? I loved it every single second of and it and no one asked him. No one asked him to do it. No one said, like, Chael, please yeah, endorse yeah, yeah. East versus West, endorse this event. No, he's like, you know, guys, Honest. follow armors like. Legend, just amazing. Just I love it so much. I think it's the I and because of that, more eyes is on us. Because of that, me might get to where we want to get is uh maybe get some UFC involved, you know, some something like that. For oh, funny story, guess who's guess who's coming? I, I had to delay my flight today because um a few let's say old <laughs> It's Tuesday. I'm not sure if it's Monday night or Tuesday that I'm meeting them just for a quick catch up. You know Baz Rutten. Yeah. So Baz Rutten, Dor St. Pierre, and Christoph Sosinski were all going out for lunch, I think, on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because Christoph is a very, very good friend of mine. Baz, I've worked with before, because there's a karate combat happening that week. Mm-hmm. And I'm not able to, to see it. So they're all here. It's just thinking of UFC connection. Anywho. Guys, the pay-per-view link is in the description. Ray is going to change the description and put it on top after we're done. Remember, we do not sell pay-per-view. We sell the fight. We sell the match. We sell the event. And it's not per view. It's per unlimited views for a year. So once you pay that $19.99, you have access to the event for a whole year. You can rewatch it as many times as you want. Of course, eventually it'll be on YouTube. But... I'm just trying to move everybody away from thinking that the pay-per-view is like, oh, if I don't see it live, I've missed it. No. Give us no. a few hours, it'll re-upload, and then you can watch it, go to work, try to stay off the internet if you don't want to see the results, or even if you heard the results, it doesn't matter because the results will never justify the actual action, the the, the blood and the, the, you know what I mean, the actual atmosphere of yeah. just people in. Hey, uh, I, I want to ask them from from the card. I, I uh, or or you know, there's there's so many guys. Is there anyone who's like your favorite? Like you've been watching now arm wrestling, right? You're seeing arm wrestling is, and uh, definitely there's some guys that you just like you you like to watch yourself, right? You like uh, or when they compete, there's something different, or you can, you, you know what I mean. There's a lot of things, a lot of categories we can go through, but. Um, is it uh, because we have? Do you, you want me to call some names? Sure. Okay, so I'll just go through the card real quick. We have yeah. uh, Brandon Assessor um, <clears throat> versus Stoyan Golimanov. We have mm-hmm. Betkilioniani, Talga Taktaev, uh, Petro Margarint, Nugazi Chikadze, Sandr Shedis, Ibrahim Sagov, Toby Sporong. This is your guy, is your friend, right? Andres. Yes. Yeah. Andres. Yeah. Latvian. Yeah. We have Leonidas versus Schoolboy. Ooh. We have Georgi Cvetko versus Alex Kordeche. <laughs> we have yeah. Fia Isaac versus Yekaterina Nikisheva. We have the GOAT, Mindaugas Tarasaitis versus, versus Artur Makarov. We have Sasha versus Irakli. Mm. Michael Todd oh, no, versus no, no. Lamparelli. What? No, no, no. Is it Sasha versus Rocky? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're looking at something else, I think. Uh, David mm-hmm. Kushi and Urdo Letai Darhan, Hermes mm-hmm. Gasparini, Alijan Murato, and the main event, Devon versus Levin. <sighs> I can't, can't pick a... Oh, there's um, Camille versus Tobias as well, no? Yeah. Oh, did you mention that? No. I mentioned that, yeah. Okay, sorry. I can't pick a favorite. I, I have to stay neutral. But I mean, there's some people who are obviously like. like okay, give, give give me give me a reason. Who is great for paper? You can't say Devon because we know Devon's 
the benchmark, right? But uh, for 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 the presence, for the table, you know, everything that happens, right? When table they're attitude. Yeah. table attitude, table yes, yes, table yeah. atmosphere. I mean, it, look, you've got you've got the basics. You've got the the Devons. You've got the Levon. You've got the Ermies. You've got the Matt Mask. You've got the uh, Michael Todd. I mean, you've got Kordeja. Mm. You've got all of these guys um, who are just electric at the table. But you see, everybody here has their own sort of presence. You can't say one is better than the other. It's untraceable. Obviously, when you put mm -hmm. a card like this, the numbers are going to do great. But you can't really say it's because of one person or not the other person, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only do it by process of elimination. So the, the question you're asking me, I know I'm kind of like wiggling my way around it, but I can't mm -hmm. actually, I, I can't pick a favorite. Um, this schoolboy versus Leonidas. Let's just take this for a second because this is the only one that I see that is not, I mean, I know schoolboy's an arm wrestler, but it's more of, it's kind of like the only, would we call it an influencer? I, 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 because uh, schoolboy is both, it's definitely an influencer match, but uh, Leonidas is getting pretty fucking good. Well, he surprised the hell out of me in, in versus. Larry, we thought that like this is the Larry's moment, right? Finally, Larry will get one. Still, no, 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 he ruined it all for all of us, and uh, and he looked really good doing it. So, but this is a tough one, like uh, schoolboy, very good, very good arm wrestler. Michael Todd actually, is coming back up. How long? I don't know. About a year, I think he tore his bicep a year ago, maybe something like that. It's yeah. been a while, been yeah. a while, it's been a while, yeah. And he's up next at King of the Table 11 against Lauren mm -hmm. in six in seven weeks. Mm. Just a crazy card. This is just crazy, 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 crazy. I'm so excited. About it. People are flying in from left, right, and center. Anywho, guys, please uh, support Arm Wrestling, and you know this card is absolutely worth it, so hit the link below. And while you're at it, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of our content. By the way, Ray, what are we going to do next week? Will we do like a like a raw version live from the ground, just a quick one? of the Yeah, let's, 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 let's do something like that. I'll find free time, you find free time, and we just do like yeah. an hour. We'll just sit down, yeah. maybe, maybe get the ground. Yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay, so what? Who, who are we? Who's the athlete hotline this time? I was thinking, we've always called Americans because this is the time they're awake. I want to piss off some Australians. This yeah. who, well, who? Who do we? You know, you we, know. If you piss off Lachlan, he will tear your head off. If you piss off Matavayarangi, he will eat your head. Oh, Mat <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck Lachlan. What is he gonna do? He's gonna fight. <laughs> Oh, we like Lachlan. We don't want to wake him up. That Ooh, is true. Fake. Mm. Right about now. No, no. Get, 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 let's get Aussie. No. That's what I meant, Jake. Jake. Uh, uh, he's got a new baby. I, I yeah, him. plus I'm, I'm kind of tired of someone yelling to me all the time. <laughs> No, let's get. Oh, uh, leave the poor guy alone. Leave the do poor you, guy do alone. you still have Ryan Bowen's number? Let's call Ryan Bowen. Oh yeah. Oh, that ginger bastard. Let's see what he's up to. Let's let's see if. Uh, let's let's, let's make Ryan relevant again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Well, let's what see. What time is it? Like Two thirty in the morning. Two thirty. In the morning, where they are, he is. That's, that's not so bad. Let's he's try. Fighting, he's fighting kangaroos somewhere. If that ginger heart of his an attack. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Huh. Ring, ding, ding! You're with the king. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Can can hear him. So you weren't sleep. By the way, you're on speakerphone and you're on a podcast. Sorry. Well, yeah, we can't hear nothing, Don. Oh, you can't hear anything? Okay. No, no. Good. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> so, so, so we didn't wake you up in the middle of your sleep. Ugh. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan was doing his singles. So his single. I don't know round. what he was doing. Uh, Ray. Ray. Mission not accomplished. We wanted to piss off an Australian. He was up already, so that's not going to work. Hey, listen, you want to jump on the podcast for a few minutes if you have time? Okay, I'll tell you what. Ray will send you a link. We run a tight ship here, so you've got max five minutes to, to, to jump on. All right? Thank you. Bless your ginger heart. Okay, see you later. Bye, 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 bye. Mm. It's kind of annoying. I was kind of hoping to wake him up from sleep. He was editing videos. Mm -hmm. Do you have his number or should I send him the link? I, I send him a link. I send it. Yeah. Oh, God. Ryan Bowen. Okay. Have it. Uh, Sorry, Ray. I can't get over this pro tip. If you want jack biceps, just tear them. <clears throat> That looks so wrong. It does, right? And like from some angles, it was swollen a couple of days ago. It looked like I was one of those Brazilians, you know, who shoot synth Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like soft and pudgy and. Yeah. Hey, still the best joke. The best joke I heard was, Bill. So you lead rips. So you read lips. What can you read from these lips? Remember. Oh, God. Stop, stop, stop. You, you can't let people know how I really am. My career would be over. Stop. Stop it, Ray. I beg of you, please, do not take <laughs> things. Was that at breakfast one time, right? Uh, I don't remember, but yeah, it was something horrible. Yeah. Uh, you heard from him, by the way. Is, he's, is he officially retired as a referee, or? Who? Bill. Bill? I don't know. I think he just uh, retired from his job, but he's, he's still doing, I think, everything. I don't know. Um, so, is did he... Okay, he, he read my message. Yeah, so he's coming back. He's coming back. Ryan's coming on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten days. I'm excited... And I'm shitting myself in equal amounts. That's how it is usually. That's how it is usually. No, usually I'm just shitting myself. <laughs> this time is added excitement. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready for this, yeah? Oh. Ah. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Ryan. Good, good, good evening, Mr. Bowen. What? Good evening. I haven't got corn in my teeth. I was actually just eating corn, a whole raw bunch of corn just before this. So I might That's have corn so in my teeth, but I'm, hopefully my mustache hides it. I don't know. Well, yeah. Before we go any further, <laughs> what the fuck is that on your face? Yeah. And yeah well, are you allowed to? Did, did, you, did you fight a bunch of bees? <laughs> it's the only bit of facial hair that grows with thickness. Everything else has got gaps and stuff. So I'm experimenting. Mm. Experimenting. Let's say that. Don't experiment you, near you, any you screws. Can you grow anything yet, Ray? <laughs> you must be getting close. Oh, don't pick on Ray. Ray, Ray has three <laughs> facial hairs in total. Yeah, <laughs> none know. of them are mine. <laughs> <laughs> Brought What's to you up, by Bill. Bowen. What is yeah, up, Bowen? Well. What is happening, man? Um, I'm I'm trying to rest. I got this this weekend. I'm I'm facing and I, I've got an eight man tournament, so I'm facing a whole bunch of dudes. Matt Dayarangi, the Morris amongst them. So I'm trying to get ready for that. But uh, man, other than that, it's just yeah, East first West coming up as well. Creating some content around that, and um, 
exciting times in the sport, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. And it's going to be a great summer. I mean, we're 10 days away from literally the beginning of a very, 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 yeah, can we say like an action packed arm wrestling summer? We got East versus West 12. Six weeks later, we got King of the Table 11. Six weeks after that, we got East versus West 13. And East versus West 14. And King of the Table 12 is literally every month. Boom, 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 boom nonstop. So, oh, yeah. I tore my bicep, East Ryan. West 12, East West was 12 is pretty insane. It, it, if we're, if we're honest about it, it's, it's rather insane. I don't know. Like, without, I, my, my, I without, my God, without the big match, what's what's your biggest interest in that one? Man, without the, without the big match, I mean, I, I personally have a big interest in the schoolboy and Leonidas match just because I, I find that one interesting. Um, Leonidas coming into the sport as he is sort of to me he's coming in like like as though he is um, he's like Larry but better is how I kind of view him sorry Larry if you're watching <laughs> I mean he, he's similar like he's just cut, cut from that stone where he's he's clearly just a strong human in all walks of life and uh, I'm interested to see if he can hang at the, the level against genuine arm wrestlers so I'm really interested in Leonidas mm. yeah what about yeah. Schoolboy? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Schoolboy let Schoolboy let me down last time I backed him against someone that was kind of a. a, a the last new thing person. I remember, I, last thing I remember was you were both in. That's that's what I remember. We were both what? <laughs> in Dubai. Remember yes, when you both? Yes, yes. Well, that that's what I'm that's what I'm referring to. Yeah, in in Dubai, in the lead up to his match with Khaled. Now, now we know that infamously, I I. I cleaned up the scraps, but let's just say I I was certain he was going to win that match against Khaled, and um and I I think I win. And I think that night I'd said to Khaled, "Look, you're going to get destroyed by Schoolboy, and then you're going to have utterly nothing left for me." Well, Schoolboy struggled against Khaled, and for me, it was I was shocked that Schoolboy struggled against Khaled. I thought. Schoolboy's the better arm wrestler, more experienced. He's surely strong enough to get it done. But but to me on the night, Schoolboy looked afraid. He made big errors tec technically. Uh, didn't trust his own strengths and went into it just like it was like, like I don't know what happened to him, but it, it, he he forgot how to arm wrestle all of a sudden. Uh, so, and there's the risk he does that against Leonidas too. He should beat Leonidas, but if he just ends up going into a hook for some reason, or if he ends up over committing and banging against a an open arm top roll that Leonid Leonidas might have, um, he could repeat it. Sure, but surely he does it. I mean, I don't want to have to show him how to beat Leonidas again or something like that. <laughs> but but you know what I mean. You, you, you know what I mean. No, like, he should have beaten Khaled that night. But anyway, he get he gets a chance to 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 correct it here and show the world that he he is the arm wrestler at the table on this one. Not and this is not an offense to Leonidas. I think he's just he's just new. Like when you when you're that strong. I get it. There's potential, but he's still very new to the to the intricacies of the movement. So I I, I think Schoolboy should win, but I'm kind of worried and worried for him. And uh, Leonidas might just take charge. Uh, is correct me if I'm wrong, but technically, isn't Leonidas a lefty? Like the left is his stronger hand, right? Yeah, left is by far his stronger hand. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, but uh... yeah, even more reason. Even more reason for Schoolboy not to lose. Yeah. But the low line has been looking good. <laughs> his training been looking good. The weight that he lifts looks good. Uh, I know the guys he's training with. Um, uh, I, I think it's gonna if if he doesn't like if his hand even stays flat, that's a match. I think that's a match. Of course, if he loses the hand, right? But uh, previously we we saw where schoolboy struggled and he lost his hand, right? And he had to be the one who stays flat. Uh, when he was in, uh, in 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 Korea, right? He pulled someone there, and it was yeah. a tough, tough yeah. match, right? Yeah, yeah. It was the, the uh, yeah the this number one super heavyweight in Korea, but yeah, I think he got through him, but it did look did look tough. It did Very look tough. tough. Very tough match. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. School, some... Schoolboy is pretty massive, though, isn't he? Like he's the taller man out of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... Five, yeah. five yeah. or something, isn't he? I've never met four? Leonidas. I've never met Leonidas, so I don't know how big he is. I think your, your height, your height. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. What, what's your height? Yeah, six, foot, six foot one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> very, very specifically that half, right? Never forget. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and seven quarters. <laughs> <laughs> who else have we got on the cards? Yeah. Who, who who else are you rooting for, Bowen? Go on, tell us. Yeah, let me look at the full card. Let me look at the full mm. card because I, I don't want to say a match that isn't. Mm-hmm. Michael Todd, actually... Frank Lamparelli. Well, that I'm backing Michael and that to come back from that. I think Michael's. Uh, I think Michael's really motivated. I think he is a stud, and mm. despite the 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 drop away he had, um, I I don't know. I know Michael says he's strong all the time, um, but he does look it. He looks strong on the table. Looks explosive. He looks motivated, and, he, and it looks like there's no pain or anything going on. So, I think that he will take control of of that match. Frank will put up a fight. I mean, he's a beast, but I, I just feel like this will be Michael's time to make a statement to say, all right, I'm back and I'm coming for the for the top guys again. Or J.J. Svetkov. Go on, I'm just going to run through a few names. Say that one again. Or Oh, Kadecha. That's like, yeah, top roll v top roll. I think that those two guys there um brutal, brutal battle for the high ground Kadecho is someone with such a big frame the ability to pivot off his elbow and, and pop people's wrists has been outstanding I think of people like Hermes Gasparini losing his hand to Kadecho but Svetkov is one of those dudes that just he's the untoppable guy too like he his wrist doesn't crack so this is going to be a very interesting one I, I can see I feel like Svetkov will win that one because he he can arm wrestle with a slightly cracked wrist better than Alex can. I think Alex will fade out. Um, Alex's arm doesn't isn't isn't as stiff as Georgie's. So I think that I think that when it comes to the side pressure lane, Georgie's going to have more. So even though Alex is the taller man, I think Alex is the biggest arm wrestler I've ever met. Um, <laughs> I, I I think that uh, Georgie will get it done, just but that that will be brutal. That'll be brutal. Okay. Okay. Tobias and Camille. Oh, scary match for Camille. After watching Tobias at the last King of the Table, scary match for Camille. I um, I know Camille fearlessly goes into the flop press, but Tobias, he's so savage at centre, and he he balances his pressure with between pronation and supination so nicely. He senses where you are and uh, where to hit perfectly, and then he does it with absolute savagery. It's not it's not a hit where his body falls away first. It's a hit where he'll just punch almost directly sideways. So I, I feel like Tobias is going to win this. I feel like he's going to hurt Camille doing it too. Alijan and Hermes. That's a left hand. I'm going up. Uh, yeah, it's left hand. I, I, I think Hermes is in trouble. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just gut feel. Gut feel after Alijan's last match where he where he looked like he was just on another level relative to Brudnick. It, to me, it was like, oh, this dude, this dude's really amazing. And look, I know it's Hermes Gasparini, but I think that the ability for Aljan to get his shoulder behind, side pressure whilst leaning right across the table, I don't think Hermes can take his wrist enough to cancel out that side pressure. Um, and I think I think he's going to get it. Fia and Ekaterina. Ekaterina I'd heard about, but I've never I've, seen her. I've never met Ekaterina, but I've I've... I've met Fia plenty of times, big fan of Fia's. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Fia lose when I've watched her matches. I know she's got losses, but she just seems to be a stud everywhere she goes, no matter what part of the world she's in, she performs really well. So um, I think Fia, and I, uh, it's out of respect for Ekaterina, I don't know her as an arm wrestler as well. Um, is this is this a comeback match for her, or is this has she been active, right? She's been a little active. She had a baby, uh, and you know Russia is banned from competing in worlds and Europeans. Uh, so she she's been competing locally and winning. Okay. That's what I know. And the last time she competed, she was the seventy kilo world champion. I think with both arms. So um, yeah, and what's this, what's this weight for this one? I think seventy. I think seventy. Okay. I think so. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, that sounds like a dangerous match for Fia, but. Yeah, back and fair. Back and fair. Yeah. Fia is. Mindogos <laughs> and Makarov. Uh, I like that match. Uh, hard to go past Mindogos. He put on such a show last time. Um, 
I think that he's too too technical against against anyone trying to hold on. And, and uh, Makarov, I don't know that Makarov necessarily hold, will hold on completely, but Makarov's got such a unique. I'm actually a big fan of watching him because. He's got a unique set of tools, and I'm always a fan of arm wrestlers that have bizarre tools. Makarov's thickness of his hand and wrist and bicep at that weight category is really, really different. And um, he loves to just tuck his elbow back, try to suck you down and get on your bicep and, and defend for a while. And I I think that Mindogas is too technical to fall into the trap of gassing his arm against that. I think he'll he'll take all these micro steps over over the hand and um and end up being in a position where leverage is on his side. But I, I think it's a it's a long drawn out match. Uh, but I think Mendogas will take it. Sagov and uh Ray's mate. Sandris. Oh, <laughs> Last time I remember Sagov pulling that I saw was against Todd Hutchins. Yes. I think and and it looked it it looks solid. He's clearly clearly a beast. Um, but look, look, I, I like the way that the, the Latvians, the Latvians approach every match with a very scientific approach and they, and, and they, they move very completely on the table. And I feel like Sandra's ability to apply a whole bunch of different shapes to that match will result in him winning the long game. Even if Sagov has enough horsepower to, to get a couple of drives through or something like that, uh, I think that the, that the, um, the momentum swings to Sanders towards the, the later end of the match. Yeah. And uh, Larich and Saganashvili, dare I ask? Oh. Or <laughs> that, like, no, I haven't heard other... anyone talking about that match at all. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know. I, I, throw it in. A little sprinkle yeah, of, I won't talk technically. As, uh, what, I won't talk about the shape. I'll just talk about my gut feel. Um, I, a year and a half ago, or two years ago, when when it happened, I thought, "Yeah, well, it's done. It'll never happen again. We we won't see Devon come close." Devon, Devon, Levan got his got his little wrist injury and kind of disappeared from the active scene. And during that time, Devon somehow just hit the accelerator and started crushing people that he I didn't think he could possibly crush. Uh, and he and he's done it again and again and again. Um, and the way he beat Hermes, um, the way he beat, or the way he beat Prudnik, where I think is where it started. Um, who did he beat next after Prudnik? After Prudnik, or well, I, I just think of Prudnik. I think of Georgi Svetkov. I think of Hermes, and I think of Denis Saplinkov. Those four names. The way he beat those four names, and it's so Sanders in there as well. Um, he lost to Gennady, in the middle. Yeah. Between. I think he lost to Gennady because he was playing. If 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 I'm honest, I I think if he had a had intent to put the sword to Gennady without putting on any form of show, I think Devin wins that match. Um, and I think if he faces him again, that's what you'd see. You'll see this this ruthless. I'm not here to put on a show. Watch. I'm gonna kill this this match. That's what he um, did. Hermes and Dennis. There was no yeah. show. There was just yeah. kill. Yeah, I think yeah, he. I think he was still trying to put on a show with Gennady. Yeah. Um, but I respect to Gennady, but I still see that as Devon was actually the superior arm wrestler that day. Um, so given all of that run, I am at the time I thought, okay, man, I started to believe I thought Devon's gonna win. Devon's gonna win. But then I saw Levan wake up as well. <laughs> and Levan's back training and and looking huge and and doing doing static Devon style lifts with 80 plus kilos and just lifting it like it's nothing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this human is a, is different. And that made me think, no, Levan is the favorite. Levan is the favorite. But then as we get close, I can't help but feel that Devin handles these moments better than anyone. And mm. mentally he is so resilient in the lead up that I feel like Levan is the one that's going to be getting nervous and shaky. And Devin is laughing his way to the ready go, like just excited to, to, to do it. And I feel like, I don't know. I, 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 there's a, I feel like my gut feel says Devin's going to win, honestly, but I I'm really scared. Like if I had to bet my, my life was on the line and I had to bet, I, I, I feel like I'd want to bet Levan, but 
my gut feel says Devin's going to do it this time. Mm. Okay. And quickly, first thing <laughs> that comes to your mind, schoolboy versus Leonidas. Schoolboy better bloody do it, I tell you. <laughs> schoolboy better bloody do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send him to the principal's office if he does it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> My goodness. He better do it. <laughs> uh, oh, but yeah, don't let us dare like well, you did it. Boy. Well, lots of question marks. I guess the only way to do it, folks, is to tune in 10 days and find out. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was asking Ray for his opinion uh, now that you're here in arm wrestling connoisseur. Is this yet? Is it safe to call this the biggest arm wrestling event in history, in terms of a card, in terms of importance, in terms of everything? Really, magnitude. I, I mean, I mean the, the the cards that have, that have been produced in the last sort of couple of years by East vs West King of the Table. There's 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 a lot that have been amazing, but but it's all there's none cooler than the one that's coming up, in my opinion, um, and and. Led led by Devon and Levan, of course, um, and backed up with immense depth. It, it's always I I I don't know what'll ever knock it off, um, but it's going to be hard for anything in this era to knock this off. Is the point? It's going to take to knock this card off. It's going to take the arrival of a new superstar. Mm. Really, so there that, needs to be gonna... someone's legendary rise, right? Like someone, yeah. like a challenger that looks just incredible. Yeah. Right. With torn biceps. Yeah. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm going to detach this shit. I'm going to reattach it here. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what you do. That's what you do. Yeah. Makes, and, uh, uh, put on some oh, yeah, It's, it's going to be hard to, it's going to, it's going to take a while for, for anything to knock this card off for sure. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, Ryan, anything else you want to tell our fans? Yeah. How, how do you? Uh, oh, what, what, what did you say you have going on this weekend? This this weekend, I'm taking on. I'm in an eight man tournament. Um, how it's going to work? Rangi, is it a, it's a double elimination or round just, robin? Yeah, straight up double elimination. Um, okay. I know my draw. My I know my draw. If if I was to win all the way, I face Brett Coots first round. I then face uh, the, either the winner of Ryan the Milkman Scott. Or Lachlan Carpenter second round, and then I face Matthew Yurangi in the final. <laughs> so That's who's on the other draw. side? But you you don't give them any chance, oh, right? I think Matthew Yurangi is going to steamroll his way through the other side. <laughs> but the other side does have legitimate killers as well. Like Matthew Yurangi's draw is Andy Bus uh, Andy Boskovsky, who just won, who just beat Jordan Davis really, really convincingly, mm -hmm. uh, and then he, then he'll face Gunters Bykovs. You know, you know Gunters. Mm -hmm. In the second round, and then, and then me. Hopefully, yeah. It's brutal. Okay. It's brutal. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Thank, Thank, you. Luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Ryan. Thank you very much for. Uh, I was yeah, kind of lucky you got me just in time. I'm. I'm. I was on my way to bed eating some corn. Now I'll. Uh, I'll go have Who some more corn, corn for bed. Ryan does popcorn. Yeah, or... yeah. Yeah. I go to the fridge. Raw corn. Cold raw corn. It's amazing. Go on, you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say about corn. You know what they say about corn, right? You never really good. own it. Too good. You never really what? Own it. Own it. I don't get it. You never really own it. I mean, it just. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is yeah, yeah. That, okay, yeah. You just borrow. Do you take my advice? Right Too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, no Ryan. Thanks for that. All right, Thanks Ryan. For thank you, thank you, and we'll speak. Uh, we'll speak very soon. Good luck this weekend, right. and. Uh, um, hit us up, Ray, and I will be on the ground if you need any live insider information. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> What's Beautiful, happening? Best uh, yeah. And we'll uh, right, we'll be you. watching your channel also. Thank you, and have a yeah. lovely or good night. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh man, I was kind of hoping to wake somebody up, wash the fucking clean boogers out of their ears, uh, out of their eyes, and boogers out of their ears. Eye, bo eye boogers. You know the, the thing in your ears, Wait. boogers out of the yeah, because it's way past your bedtime, and there was some tequila in that. <laughs> in was, I haven't had a drink in quite some time. Mm. You were saying I've seen Fia arm wrestle. I've never seen Fia arm wrestle, but I've seen Fia drink. Mm. 
He's a great drinking buddy. <laughs> He's a great buddy. Oh, boy. All right, Ray, any questions? Did you notice any questions that need addressing? No. Immediately. People There's are one just, question here. As we are excited about the event next week, it's, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Hang, hang on. Just one question here that needs to talk my eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where to see it this weekend? Deeps, it is not this weekend. It is next weekend, April 20th. And if you look at the description, there's a link where you can go and buy it on and watch it on coresports.world. Yeah. And uh, before I forget, a big shout out to our sponsor, Beard Struggle, who are bringing style and strength together in the form of real manhood. And uh, use code Coresports for 21% off of all of their products. They gift to the arm wrestling community. And um, if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer next time, please leave them in the comments section. Because live chat, is, I'll let Ray do the YouTube talking. So I don't say anything wrong. How do we say it, Ray? Teach me. <laughs> Teach me. I'm getting better. I'm getting better, right? leave leave a leave a comment and comment section below please like the video subscribe to the channel join us for the next week of uh yeah behind behind the table so are you are you using a mac computer yeah so, okay yeah do, do this do this no, like so i can see it yeah just hold it yeah no nothing just go go a little higher What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> now do this, do this, do this. Just hold it. <laughs> you see it? What the fuck? What the fuck? What do was it. that? Do this. But oh my god! <laughs> you absolute fucking weirdo. <laughs> Was that like some weird emoji effect? That it's, you were... it's 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 it works on Mac and and iPhones. Okay. So they have like uh you you, you do this if you do just one they just put on thumbs up just plunk see. Oh, oh this automatically happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, guys. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Just, just stop. Just stop. Two thumbs up is like a light show. This is like a party. No, this is this is a fireworks party, right? But because it's taking the paintings behind you as you, it's going behind it, <laughs> so we don't see it. Yeah. I'm so gonna wash this back. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys right. for watching. Thank you guys for watching. We gonna be be in Istanbul next week. The biggest match of of uh, arm wrestling history is going to happen April 20th. Uh, East versus West 12. Link is in description. Don't miss it. Get the paper. You support arm wrestling so we can make more of these amazing events. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you and have a good night. See you stay next week. Stay strong. Love arm wrestling. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh...